Water softener resin typically lasts 10 to 15 years, but its lifespan depends on factors like resin capacity, cross-link percentage, the presence of chlorine in water, and maintenance of the resin tank. So, let's go straight into it. The first factor that affects resin lifespan is resin's capacity and cross-link percentage. The resin's lifespan depends on how much hardness it has to process. If the softener is undersized for the household's water usage and hardness level, the resin will work harder and wear out faster due to frequent regeneration. Water softeners come in different grain capacities. To choose the right one, consider your water hardness and daily water usage. Use this formula. Water softener capacity is equal to daily water used multiplied by hardness in grains per gallon multiplied by 3. A properly sized system ensures efficient and minimum regeneration cycles, which extends the resin life. The crosslink percentage of resin refers to how tightly the resin beads are bonded, and it is determined by the ratio of divinyl benzene to styrin. A higher crosslink percentage generally means a longer lasting resin due to more tolerance to chlorine and iron. For instance, 10% cross linked resin typically lasts about 20 years, double the lifespan of 8% cross linked resin. So, when shopping for a water softener, look for 10% cross linked resin used in premium brands like Springwell and Fleck. The second factor that affects the resin lifespan is the presence of chlorine, chloramines, and natural organics in your water. Since cation resin consists of porous plastic beads, it is highly vulnerable to chlorine and chloramine damage. Just 2 ppm of residual chlorine in municipal water supplies can cut the lifespan of standard resin in half. Chloramines, a combination of chlorine and ammonia, can be even more damaging. Natural organic contaminants in well water, such as tannins or humic acids, seep into the resin beads and clog their interiors creating a fisheye effect where only the outer layer of the bead remains active while the core gets blocked. If left untreated, these contaminants gradually break down the resin's strong base, making it ineffective at softening water. Pre-filters for chlorine, sediment, and iron can help protect the resin and extend its lifespan. The third factor affecting resin lifespan is the maintenance of the resin tank. Over time, resin beads can become coated with impurities, reducing their efficiency. So, you need to use a resin cleaner every 6 to 12 months to restore performance and prevent premature replacement. Simply add the cleaner to the brine well before manual regeneration, allowing it to flush out iron and organic contaminants from the resin beads. So, what can you do to prolong the lifespan of your water softener resin? First, test your water to understand its hardness, chlorine content, and iron levels. It will help you determine the right softener size and pretreatment option to protect your resin from undue damage. Second, set your softener to regenerate adequately based on water hardness and usage to prevent early resin exhaustion. Overusing salt and fast rinse cycles can cause resin fouling, so proper softener settings are a must. Finally, clean your resin bed with resin cleaners every 6 to 12 months to help prevent iron and organics. And you'll be good to go. Despite all this, your resin will expire one day. But how can you test if it has actually gone bad? Watch this video to know it all.